Hey guys, it's Christina here again. I am here with my product empties. I haven't done this video in over a year, so I have quite a few things um, and quite a few duplicates of things. And I will also, I mean, clearly this isn't, hasn't been my trash for the entire year, but this is just a few things that I have saved. And hopefully um, I saved like one thing and I'll tell you how many I've gone through or something like that. So, and I have a bin to my right that I will be throwing all of this stuff in just to, to get it out of the way because my trash is a little full right now and then I'm just going to take this down to my dumpster. Okay, um, where to get started? I guess where to get started, there's so much stuff. Oh my gosh, there's like this huge thing and then there's also stuff on my desk. Oh, whoopsie. Fun, how about that? <laughs> okay. So probably the thing I've gone through the most is um, contact solution stuff. I do not wear contacts right now just because going through chemo can make your um, eyes sensitive, dry, and also blurry. And I've kind of done that, like that's kind of happened to me where I've had blurriness with my contacts. So um, I really don't wear them unless it's like a special occasion. So usually I'm just chilling out with my glasses every day. But before that, I had gone through a whole bunch of these things and probably more. Okay, this one is the Walgreens Hydrogen Peroxide Cleaning System. Um, I think this came as a two-pack, and I I know I've gone through at least two of these in the last year. Um, it also comes with this little case. I'm not sure if it's down in the bottom here somewhere. I think I saved at least one case to show you guys. But this is the one where you um, suspend them in air, kind of like upside, not in air, but you suspend them like upside down in the contraption. Um, and it says it's 3% hydrogen peroxide. This is the um, kind of solution. I, this is my favorite, and it, it makes my contacts last longer. Um, because mine are supposed to be two week, but I usually get a month out of them. However, <laughs> um, you cannot, ooh, there's so much dust because it's been on the floor for so long. Um, you cannot use the, you cannot put your contacts in within like under six hours or burn the crap out of your eyes. Um, my mom has done, I've, I've heard her call me and she's like, oh, my burn my eyes. Anyways, um, okay, so this is the Walgreens brand. I don't particularly like the Walgreens brand. I like the clean clean care clear clear care brand um i get this size this is the 16 ounce um i get two of those at costco for like 16 dollars, and it's a really good deal um so i've been doing that for a long time when i can't get to costco though um i end up buying the smaller version this is the 12 ounce that comes in two so i've gone through two of these i've also gone through two of these um oh here's one of the little this is what the little thing looks like. I've gone through two of those. That's the brand that I like. I only buy the Walgreens if um, they have a better deal. And usually I just will go with, I will spend the extra money for the clear care because I, I'm just totally obsessed with it. This is what it looks like. This is a little contraption. I have spent way too much time talking about contact solution. And you throw these away every time you get a new one. Um, I have a little mini bottle. How sad is that? That's probably six bottles of uh, contact solution in the last year. Oh, here's a little baby uh, pure moist one that I used when I went traveling. Um, okay, I went through two of these Almay 80 pad, the oil-free ones, before they changed the packaging. I really, really like these, especially when I'm being super lazy at night. They just put it, they're super wet. I just place them in my eye rub off, not rub off, but just kind of gently rub over my eye. And I don't know, I really, really like this stuff. Um, I also have the, the, uh, eye makeup remover, which is like down to here. So I'm almost out of that. Be glad when, when I can finish some of these products because I have so many eye makeup removers, it's not even funny, but I really, really like these. I really recommend them. Um, I've gone through two of those. Oh, here's another contact solution from Traveling and a Renew. This is just a regular one that you can use anytime. Um, a body, ugh, you can just see the dust. A body wash that I went through, the I Love Candy Corn. It smelled exactly like candy corn. I mostly, I kind of got tired of this. It had sat in my 
my beauty closet for a while. So I just used it as a bubble bath and I liked it so much more as a bubble bath to be honest. But it smells exactly like candy corn. And I love all philosophy products. Um, another bath thing that I used is Coochie. It's a conditioning shave cream in the scent Pink Cupcake which just smells like vanilla frosting. Smells amazing. They have since changed this packaging. This is from uh, Pure Romance. One of my friends sells it. So um, I buy a lot of this stuff. I probably have two to three of these in my shower at any time in different fragrances. Um, and I love it because I don't get razor burn. Um, a deep conditioning mask, clearly this has been a while ago, is the Clear scalp hair and beauty therapy. I really, really liked this. I would definitely repurchase this. Um, I love, I use conditioning masks instead of a uh, conditioner just because my hair is so thick and um, wavy. And oh, I absolutely love this. And it smelled really good too. I would definitely repurchase. And I think it's like $5 at Target. That's the only place I've been able to find it. Um, another hair mask is by Pureology. This is my all-time favorite mask. It's their intensive, their hydro cure and it's I believe it's vegan yeah it smells amazing but this stuff's $50 so um, I only buy one of these a year and then I kind of switch between that and the the clear one but it works amazing my hair is buttery soft when it's over I absolutely love that another contact solution revital lens man I've gone through a lot of these in the last year <laughs> Oh, oh, I found another one too. Another Renew. So, I, I like to keep those travel ones in my purse. Um, I went through one of these big Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potions. The professional size. I can't squeeze any more out. So, it is done. It's dead. It's gone. Um, I'm not really the biggest fan of this, to be honest. Um, however, I do like it when they sell it in the professional size just because it's such a good deal. So that's the only time I repurchase is when it's in the professional size. I went through the Cora's Pomegranate Cleansing Makeup Cleansing Wipes. These smell amazing. Um, I don't think they're worth $12, but I did get them for $3 at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, one of those. Oh, this one says TJ Maxx. I know I've seen them at both. And to me, $3, they're worth every penny. They get every stitch of makeup off. They're very wet, and the, the scent is very pleasant. Because right now I've been trying to do a, an all natural, kind of a more natural um, with skincare and makeup and everything. And I love Cora's. I've tried the Burt's Bees and they smell like horrible. They smell horrible. Very chemically. Um, okay, the next thing. Did I already go through one of these? Okay, I've gone through two of these. I don't know where my second one is over here. I'm looking and I don't see it. Maybe I already talked about it. I don't know. Um, I, this is my favorite body wash, the Gold Bond Deep Moisture Body Wash in the Healing. I'm not sure if they still sell this or not. I bought it at CVS or Walgreens, one of those. And I think I've gone through four in the last year, and I absolutely love this. Very gentle to the skin. Um, another body wash I went through was the Nutra Skin Replenishing Body Wash. It smelled like peach. I wasn't too impressed with it. Um, it wasn't super hydrating or anything. I think I ended up, honestly, I think I ended up using it as a bubble bath at the end. Sorry. Drop that. Um, another thing by Pure Romance, just their romance bubbles. It's just a bubble bath. Um, it's an island breeze. I love this stuff. Oh, it just smells so good. It's very islandy. Um, the water's just because I couldn't get all of it out. I wanted every last drop of this. Love that. I would definitely repurchase. I went through a 100 pack of the Shiseido Facial Cottons. I bought it at Nordstrom. Um, I really liked these, but I also like the cotton rounds from Target. So these are a little more pricey. So unless um, Sephora is having a good deal or Nordstrom is having a good deal or Double Points or something, I don't really buy these anymore. Um, okay. I went through... I'm surprised I don't have more toothpaste in here. Um, a Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief. I did not like this at all. So I think there's just a little bit left. But it um, started to coagulate. So clearly it was expired. It wasn't expired on the bottom. But from using it, it was definitely expired. Um, I've gone through quite a few of these Colgate totals. This is my absolute favorite toothpaste. Um, I buy it with coupons and on sale. And I just love this stuff. Um, right now, because of the whole um, 
I'm in going through a transition in my life, I use the Tom's toothpaste and I really like that. Um, I, I definitely like the Colgate, but I can't do the alcohol because it dries your mouth out. So I've kind of had to do different stuff, um, different toothpaste. Um, another Almay one. So I've gone through three of these, I guess, because I know I have one on my counter that has one left. So I've gone through three of these in last year. Um, a face scrub, true blue mini peppermint. Um, it's just a peppermint face scrub. It smells amazing, but it didn't do anything wonderful to my skin or anything or even really exfoliate that great. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, and then the, oh, here's another toothpaste that turned on me and I've gone through, I went through, I think one or two of these last year. Um, Colgate Optic White. I really like this, but cleansing wise, I think that the, um, the Colgate total is better, but I did like the taste and I did like, um, what it did on my skin. Okay. And the rest of this is makeup stuff except for one. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this last product and then I'm going to do a separate video for the makeup products. Um, this was a candle that I got when I worked at Nordstrom a long time ago and it was kind of in my beauty closet and it's called, it's the Vel Felispa, I don't know how to say that, in the macaroon and it smells just like macaroons. I mean, I burned it all the way to the bottom. I actually wish that they still sold this, but I think that this was just an anniversary only one time thing. So until I can find that again, I will be sad. But thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed my, um, what is it? Oh, my brain's not working today. My um, used up products and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.